Okay, so now I connected uh, the potentiometer outputs to the signal line, uh, both X and Y axis, and uh, I have the multimeter connected uh, only to one of them. Um, I believe that would be the X axis, uh, but uh, in any case, uh, we will see the dot moving uh, both ways if everything goes all right. So let me plug it in uh, and we'll see the dot uh, on the cardboard box and now if I move the uh, X potentiometer I'm going to see that it moves, it moves quite a bit now uh, and uh, Right at uh, 9.9 .9 volts, uh, it actually stops moving, so uh, we did uh, reach the full range. And the other way around, uh, the same thing, uh, at about 10 volts, it stops moving. Uh, the same thing happens for the y-axis. And... Uh, it works uh, incredibly well. What is the next step? Oh, okay, I know it's time to connect uh, some sort of a microprocessor and uh, control the dot uh, by software.